all right ladies and gentlemen in today's video i have ktt a controller champ he's going to be going into this emerald lobby deagle only we're going to see how he does wish him the best of luck down in the comments and while you're down there make sure you guys follow him his socials will be linked down below in the description but let's hop straight into round number one all right atlas is going to pick up the first kill of the game here for the blue team ATT is going to be playing knock. He doesn't have very many options in terms of operators because he's got to play Deagle only. But knock, honestly, pretty good option. Two grenades, not a bad gadget. But off screen, Thermite will grab another kill here for the blue team. So your team already down in man count here. KTT taking things slow right now, trying to possibly get some nades from below right now and honestly that is smart trying to utilize his utility before trying to take a gunfight against someone like doc with 1.5 when he's only got a deagle but speaking of doc he'll grab that kill on atlas who decides to just hop into the window of sight but look at this ktt calls the sights clear so his teammates will run in but two kills from the orange team will slow down the push from the blue team now the plant goes down as thermite is able to plant inside of armory but troll patrol on the flank with the valk will take him out and now ktt below right now with grenades all three of the orange team are inside of armory the first player goes down ktt another nade in hand is about to nade from below he gets the second player as well only one left it's the azami She's going on the defuse now as well, but KTT is running upstairs. One second left on the defuser, but KTT will grab it. And three kills on the rounds from our Deagle only player. Two from grenades, to be fair. But either way, well played by KTT. Looks like Troll Patrol is joining KTT with the Deagle only. But it's not going to work out for him as Thatcher will take him out. Or excuse me, Flores will take him out all the way from the west spawn. KTT outside of East stairs right now, trying to drone to ensure that it's clear. Taking a look at the orange team. They're all pretty much playing on site, so whether KTT knows it or not, he does have East stairs control here. He just sees it go in and take it. But off screen, Atlas will grab a kill onto Potato. Capcom goes down. And now Doc trying to refrag will do a little bit of damage onto the buck on Sandwich Window, but Atlas with another kill. Wow. A zombie with the one tap on the Deagle will take out Atlas, but oh no, KTT, the champ player who's Deagle only, going to get down by a Capca trap. And it looks like a zombie, the Emerald player, is going to be taking up the Deagle only challenge as well, as they are still on the Deagle after that one tap, pushing now deeper into office, potentially trying to. K kill KTT here and it looks like we might have a deagle versus deagle battle but no buck walks in through fountain and takes the azami out and the second round goes to the blue team all right capital gonna get the first kill of the rounds onto troll patrol ben rear goes down ktt inside a break room with the deagle will take out echo meme wizard goes down Doc going to heal Cade back up to full HP. And now KTT back on his drone. Trying to figure out where the rest of the orange team is. He spots out Doc. You just grabbed a kill. But oh no! The whiff from KTT! Doc will kill him. And that was a complete disaster right there. The Deagle just too difficult to control. And Doc picks up another kill too now. And finally, a refrag from Twitch who flanked inside of Armory will take the dock out. But it's going to be Twitch versus two. A zombie inside of CC trying to flank is Kate is inside of office. Shots through the wall will damage Twitch onto about one HP now. A zombie flanking into Armory. Twitch has got to pick a gunfight here. Hip firing for some reason. The orange team will pick up their first round. And the Deagle, obviously a severe challenge here for ktt all right i believe ktt has set up a pre-play c4 underneath but getting on this default cam he'll spot out a few attackers who are outside of front door and he'll 
narrowly dodged some bullets from Ying, who's outside of front door. And I believe Sledge is already in right now, and he's going to grab the first kill of the rounds onto Warden Main, who's on Mozzie. That is not adding up at all right now, but either way, KTT safely upstairs now inside of the site on the concrete, so he cannot be naded through the floor, as that could be Sledge's plan at the moment. I believe he also has a pre-play C4 inside of CC or break room. So we'll wait to see if that's going to do anything. But oh no, look at this angle from Troll Patrol all the way back inside of East Spawn. Able to look all the way through both sites right now. But here we go. Someone's going to be hopping in to CCTV. And KTT might be able to get the C4 kill here. But off screen sludge on the metal stairs able to kill atlas vigil goes down ktt is going to swing a lot of damage onto the osa player who's on literally one hp now how is osa even alive that's insane ktt off camps now as a team kill comes out from meme wizard and boom there it is the c4 i've been talking about ktt able to grab a beautiful pre-play c4 kill and now osa on one hp trying to re-swing the armory door did she not learn her lesson before jaeger going to grab a kill on some meme wizard so no more maverick for the orange team troll patrol going to refrag though ktt forced to get off cams as he's going to be in sight the glass holding an angle on him mew able to get one kill but glass refrag troll patrol pushing up to ktt's position he swings out the shots come out ktt Able to hit some shots, but finally able to pull through with the kill there. It was getting close. Both players missing a lot of shots there, but KTT able to win in the end there. And look, match point for the blue team now. We're going to switch up the teams for map number two. Taking a look at the scoreboard, by the way, because I know you guys are interested. KTT with the deagle only. Admittedly, he is getting a few nade kills and C4 kills. Is 6-1 and one right now, so... Not too bad. Troll Patrol rushing in through archives right now, but War Castle's reinforcing close inside of Armory right now. He's going to swing. The shots come out, and he'll win that gunfight. Finca going down. KTT on cams downstairs somewhere. Ying off camera will grab a refrag. Smoke goes down. That is a big pick for the orange team, and a wall bang from Castle will take out Sledge. Wow, that's impressive, and... Wow, yet another kill for the castle player upstairs as he is holding down armory as a one-man army right now. KTT still above or still below on cams, trying to spot out any of the orange team players. Sergeant Potato are going to grab a kill, finally ticking out that castle player. Atlas C4 in hands, able to potentially C4 one of the players that are playing above. KTT going to use his impact grenades to open a hole from customs into passport. Now, Potatoer above an armory, opening up the armory hatches and the archives hatch. Meme Wizard sort of stuck outside because of that castle is going to have to jump around to the rotate. He does have bridge charges that he's going to be able to use to open up the site floor. But he's going to use that on the bathroom roof for some reason. Atlas inside of site will take him out though and... That'll leave Sergeant Potatoer by himself. KTT using his impact to open a rotate and a fountain will push above. But Atlas from in sight will take him out. And GG's finally taking a look at the end scoreboard. KTT remaining 6-1. and one. The blue team, a dominant victory. But like I said, we're going to switch up the teams. We're going to shuffle the teams. And we're going to see how KTT does in map number 2. All right, Sergeant Potato, we're trying to make it out of spawn. I put us on cafe and we shuffled the teams here. And the reason I chose cafe is I personally believe cafe is going to be a lot harder for KTT. As with only a pistol on such a big map, he might be in a little bit of trouble. We'll see what's going to happen here. So far, a lot of players repelling up to the roof and oh, wow. Blackbeard able to get one kill, but KTT instantly refragging as he C4 is up through the hatch. And KTT has been on point with the explosives here so far in this video. 
Warden will throw a C4 of his own, but it'll miss, and he hops out of the window, and Sergeant Potato is there on the Osa, who's repelled on ticket window, there to take him out. Blackbeard rotating up from bottom red stairs, and <clears throat> KGT inside of Cigar Shop. Osa now in piano, trying to push him. KTT potentially stuck inside of shop. A lot of the Emerald players now are surrounding him. Three are top red. Two pushing in deeper to piano now. KTT, what is he going to do? We're not able to see it for some reason. It's not letting me go back to full screen. But fortunately, we didn't miss any kills. Mute does grab one kill onto Warden main. But KTT is able to refrag, breaks the shield of the Blackbeard player, but will get taken out by zero. You know that's got to be frustrating on KTT's end. He would have got that kill on the Blackbeard if it wasn't for the shield. That is unlucky. Now, Blackbeard going to be pushing in through shop door. He'll down the Rook player, and all he's got to do is finish him off. And there we have it. Blackbeard. Two kills that round. One of them on to KTT. KTT able to pick up two kills of his own. One with the C4, one with the Deagle. But the Orange team are going to lose here on the first round of Cafe. And honestly, that's sort of kind of what I was expecting. All right, we had a quick rehost here. But we're back to round number two. KTT back at it with the C4. Is going to be replacing one underneath the new hatch here. Amaru outside of... The south side here potentially going to be a marrowing into piano right now. This will be interesting. We'll see how the orange team chooses to handle this. So far, none of them are actually playing inside a piano. So the Amaru does have the ability to go straight in through there if she would like to. Taking a look at KTT. He's on cams. He really wants to get this C4 kill. And he knows that with the Deagle, he's going to have to play very safe and very smart here. Spotting out that the Amaru just Amaru'd into Piano. KTT will ping him out for the orange team. And now we're at a standstill here. So there's a minute and 30 seconds left. And honestly, the orange team is playing it decently well here so far. I would have liked to see them hold Piano. But they've, they've been able to stay alive at least for the most part. And they've denied a good amount of time. But with that being said, Mute's in a bad spot, and the swing from Callie will come out. I'm not sure how Callie did not die there, but regardless, that'll be Mute going down. And I believe KTT just blew up his C4, which I'm sure has missed now. Lion on the skylight will grab KTT, so that's the Deagle only champ going down. Sludge with another kill, and Lion's going to drop the skylight, but he'll get taken out. By the Legion. Troll Patrol with another kill as well. Legion with another. And now it's up to Atlas and the Sledge. Sledge already deep into bar right now. He'll grab the kill onto Legion. The last remaining player, Troll Patrol, on side of Fenrir, but will be taken out on the bathroom head holes. Great shots from Iana there. And two rounds now, KTT's team has not been able to pick up any wins. Oh, wow. Aruni able to pick up one kill, but zero instantly refragging. And it looks like the Aruni was actually able to do a little bit of damage onto Sledge as well. So great start for the orange team here. KTT downstairs playing in Harry Potter right now. Potentially trying to hold down anyone from pushing into small big. Now, Warden upstairs taking the position that Aruni was just on. Possibly seeing if he can grab any kills from there. The attack, droning things out, playing a little bit slow as they should, as the round just started now, but oh no, Sergeant Potato are going to be taking a lot of damage, and looks like we have a bug of some sorts. I can't see anything but the drone screen. I don't know what's happening right now. There we go, it's back. Well, since we couldn't see anything, Flores is going to grab a kill off camera. So now it's going to be a 4v3. Shout out to Ubisoft for that bug. That was really cool. Mute shooting out that drone. He's going to be trying to hold down prep now. KTT was taken out. So unfortunately, during all that time, we could not see it. But KTT was taken out. 
Sludge pick up another kill. We don't even know who took out KTT. But Sophia inside of prep will grab another kill onto the orange demon. It's just Doc who picks up one. Now he's got three more to find. He'll find one of them. He takes a lot of damage, but he is Doc, remember? So he'll be able to stem right back up. And now he's going to swing out. He'll actually find that kill onto the Thatcher. So it's all up to Sergeant Potato Bear, who's low on HP. He's going to be against Doc, full on HP right now. He's got the 1.5. He's got everything he needs. And he, he'll actually clutch this round out. Thank God for the Doc player on the orange team. Otherwise, KTT's team would currently be losing 3-0. Told you, all you need is a little map change and a little team shuffle. And things become a lot more difficult. Take a look at the scoreboard. Remember, we did rehost after the first round. But KTT, so far here, has not picked up a round since the or a kill since the rehost. So... Hopefully, maybe now that they're switching over to attack, things will be a little bit different, but we'll see. Oh, Doc trying to spawn people get taken out as Aimbot on the Ash will be the one to kill him. And if it wasn't for this Ash player, man, seven and one so far. Outfragging his entire team combined easily. ATT going to be droning inside a pillar right now. He's going to rappel down to the door and it looks like he might be trying to push in through there. Brava going to get a kill onto Atlas though. And Warden Main goes down as well from the Sludge player. So now things are not looking good for the blue team. KTT going to start walking up the white stairs right now. And he's close into sight. Jaeger doesn't realize he'll grab this kill. He's going for another. Capkin still on full HP as KTT whiffs the shots. He's going to rotate back close on the head holes. Capkin will get the shots, but aimbot from behind. Eight kills, one death now on the Ash player. Incredible. Ooh, look at this gunfight through the drone hole. Troll Patrol is able to grab that kill on the Atlas. Cade goes down. Have you ever seen anyone die through this angle before? I swear. That is, that is strange right there, but either way, KTT outside of the front door going to be joining Coat Check. Ensuring that it is clear for him to push in, and it indeed is, so he's going to do so. And now this mute is going to be slowing his push in with the drone. He's trying to see what's clear, but everything is jammed. It's going to make it very difficult to drone out the remainder of the map. We know, though, that mostly all of the blue team, if not all of them, actually are inside of sight, but... Capital is able to get one kill onto the blue team, bringing them down to three players. But wow, two kills coming out from the blue team. That is a great refrag coming out from them. KTT still alive with the Deagle. Rotated to help his team push inside of prep right now. Flashbangs come out as he's going to push straight in off of that flashbang. Great first kill. He flicks over. Can't find the second as Doc is able to finish him off. Sadly... Capitao was not pushing with KTT to refrag. Sledge was doing his best to try to distract from above, but oh no, Doc swings. Capitao's there to take him out. The last remaining player is Warden on the prep window. I don't think either of the last two Emerald players on the orange team realize this. I don't even know if Warden realized that Capitao is right here, but it won't matter. His Sledge from the double door will take him out as he tries to rotate back towards a bunker and, well... That's going to be match point for KTT's team. It wasn't looking good for them to start off the game, but well, they're now in match point. So we'll see how this potentially the final round goes here. All right, KTT going to be droning pillar down below and he'll actually do a lot of damage to the Solus player, putting her onto about one HP, but show 180 and the P90 shoots so much faster than that Deagle. And unfortunately for KTT, he just won't be able to find that kill. Maybe if he had a better gun, but... The Deagle is not going to be enough there. Oryx down below is going to get taken out as Troll Patrol and the Zofia is there to roam clear. And oh wow, check out this frag from the Iana on top of the hatch right now. Going for another kill as well. Rook gets lit up or Doc, excuse me, gets lit up quite a bit. Sledge pushing up red stairs now with Capital. Trying to see if they can potentially take towards piano side. Atlas rotating into pipes right now. Going into piano now, trying to see if he can stop this push in from Capita, who's now underneath new hatch. 
gonna shoot out that prox alarm sledge in with him as well inside of piano for some reason sledge goes afk directly behind the couch and alice is going to wall bang and taking him out easy frag for the warden who picks up another one inside a bathroom and that's capital going down it's all up to aimbot and troll patrol who goes down underneath inside of reading room aimbot it's all up to you the best player so far for the orange team picks up another kill 10 and 2 so far as he's looking to close out this game only two kills away from winning this game Falk on the top of white stairs low hp but we'll be trying to pre-fire here comes the grenade to force the valk out of that position as aimbot now uses that opportunity to push into bathroom doc holding inside a bar but oh wow aimbot's gonna push up stack side and he'll grab the first kill of this 1v2 onto the valk player it's all left to doc in the 1v1 he's got good positioning he's got the hp advantage aimbot low on hp right now but this is for the whole game 15 seconds left here it is. Doc won't be able to finish him off as Aimbot rotates it into sight in the headshot from Aimbot. Wow. GG. Well played. I don't know what you want to make of this video in terms of our champ player with the Deagle. He only went 2 and 5 here on Cafe. Aimbot, our Emerald player, carrying 12 and 2. Wow. Very interesting. Well, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below any video suggestions that you guys may have. While you're down there, consider subscribing. Turn on post notifications. Make sure you guys have those on as I do post daily here on the channel. Make sure you guys like the video. Follow KTT. His socials will be linked down below in the description. And if you want to come play ranked with like-minded players, or if you want to come play ranked with me and KTT specifically, you can do that with the links to Six Shot Academy. It'll be down there in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.